without dying. That was nice. Around the outside. Whoa! <laughs> Just about got through there. What is up guys and welcome back to another Assetto Corsa video. Today we're racing the F1 2020 cars around the new, new Zandvoort layout. Uh, this is in line with the 2020 uh, iteration of this track. Max Verstappen did some laps I think some point last year and that's what this kind of track is uh, modelled off of. Um, but uh, it is a bit of a stretch to say that this is a new layout. Um, in reality they've kind of just reprofiled about three corners and then... Um, Played around with like the off-track surfaces like uh, gravel traps and stuff like that just to make it a little bit more safer for a modern F1 race. But we're in the Mercedes. We're fully decked out in Mercedes gear today. Full fanboy mode, even though I'm not a fanboy of Mercedes. But regardless, we're in uniform and we're ready to have a race. I'm going to go out for some practice. Um, as you can see, modern Zandvoort is very fancy with, uh, you know, it's pit stalls and everything look at those tires and look at the crew that we have on offer today just a lollipop man it's all you need but uh yeah we're gonna get out there in the mercedes chase cam mode absolutely not but off we go i haven't done any laps of this new zandvoort layout this pit lane exit is a lot different so off we go So, oh, spinner already. Sorry about that, guys. So, uh, this corner is different here. This has been reprofiled. It's a lot more banking and quite bumpy in my force feedback, which uh, wasn't so bumpy on the old layout, which I was just doing. So, that corner is different. Turn one is different. The final corner is different, too. And I believe, um, yeah, the gravel traps have been adjusted a little bit. Beyond that, I don't really know too much about what's different or not, and we're just going to discover that on our own here. Yeah, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do one flying lap and then I'm going to go straight into the race. That's, that always is a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> so let's get ready, hopefully the tyres are warm, we've got a yellow flag up ahead. Uh, in the video yesterday, or the day before, I did Monaco in uh, the 1966 layout, so check that out. The AI were absolutely ridiculous around there. Um, some of the corners, they just couldn't go around in these cars. But I put that down more to the AI than the handling of the car. That is uh, actually quite nice through there. Anyway, out of the final corner, starting a flying lap here at the new Zandvoort. Turn one, very conservative. I feel like, yeah, they have opened up these corners a little bit more. Because... Uh, yeah, I can imagine the old layout was probably a little bit... These cars probably would have been a little bit too big for the track. And uh, just reprofiling those corners definitely helps with that. Remember when we all thought France was going to be a horrible race? Well, it was. <laughs> but uh, no, there was no shortage of overtaking. I think the problem with France, we all thought it was going to be absolutely horrendous for cars to follow each other and overtake. Um, but from what I remember, I think France was too easy to overtake because of the DRS zones being so long. We shall see how uh, it unfolds here and it eventually gets underway. The only flag again at this sector, so someone is having an absolute mare here. But when we do come here, it's going to be absolutely amazing! That's our one flying lap. I have absolutely no idea what the pace is. Alright, here we are for the race. That's a very quick snap to the car. We are ready. Unfortunately, there is no Max Verstappen uh, in this race, so 99% <laughs> of the crowd has literally departed the building. So uh, we don't need to worry about social distancing or anything like that. We are ready to get this race underway. Let's hope that I don't die at turn one. That would be nice. Oh, yes. I thought it was F1. See, look, I held in, I held in the, um, the paddle, um, but on the F1 game, you can hold the paddle, but it's, that's when, when you release it, that's when you go. Uh, so I made a boo-boo there. Let's do that again. You never saw anything. Six red lights. And off we go for Zandvoort. People, open the DRS already. That is very, very safe. Heading into turn one. 
absolute cheese. Nobody wants to go too fast into here. Um, I, I tell a lie. I said I would do one practice lap and then head into the race. Um, problem was, I did more than one practice lap. I did about five. And I actually never completed a lap without spinning. Fuck off. Fucking impossible to go through there. I just couldn't get through there cleanly. It was absolutely unreal. But anyway, through here, side by side. Surprised he left the door open to be fair, and uh, that is why he's just absolutely mugged me off. As we head into the middle sector, lacking a bit of confidence here is Tia McMahon, who ran P14 out of 18. Not many, oh, not many pit stalls available in this race. I would have loved to have had more AI, given us a better chance of getting Verstappen in this race, but regardless, we will press on. A few F1 drivers in this one, not real, just AI, Lando Norris. Latifi, uh, one of the Renaults is in here as well. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Final couple of corners. Actually, I went through the corner without... It was a couple of corners back. I went through there without dying. That was nice. Around the outside. Whoa! <laughs> Just about got through there. That was incredible. Slip streaming into turn one. Let's go around the outside. Oh, maximum bravery. I tell you... Oh no, I've lost the camera! The force feedback! <laughs> it's too much for the camera to deal with. I'm going to have to wait till I get on the straight and deal with that. <laughs> what is going on? It's all kicked off. Zanvort is so bumpy, it's knocked my camera off of its tripod. Oh god. We go again. <laughs> I can't believe that. The inside of the Renault. Very tentative there, Ben. That is not like you. Another Renault in front of us. Barged by the first Renault we overtook. This is the corner I keep spinning out on. But it seems like we've got the measure on it here in the race. Bloody hell, these AI have no chill. None at all. Can we go around the outside and get into the final corner? Oh my... Ah! <laughs> oh, we take the Renault with us. I'm sorry, Daniel. That is the biggest pile-up since uh, we came together at China in career mode. Really? I mean, really. Like, make up your mind and make it up a bit, a bit earlier. At least look in your mirrors, you, you pelican. No points. Fantastic. Can't wait for the debrief. All right, I'm trialing a new, potentially more stable mounting solution. Uh, I've got my PS4 and Xbox. Stood up vertically, and uh, the camera's sitting on that. I really do need to get a tripod. I mean, it's 2020. What am I doing? All right, take two. Let's see if we can get this done. Please, no deaths. First lap would be nice. Off we go. That car on the left surely did a, a jump start there. That was pretty ridiculous. I'm going to go full send on this first lap. I've got my eye in a little bit more. I know what the AI are going to do potentially. We're down to P10 already. That was an amazing start off the line. Definitely not the AI being at a lower difficulty and reduced aggression or something. Still the same settings as what I was running last attempt. Oh! Renault's gone. We go around the outside. Thank you very much. P9. Halved our starting position already. And it's only been half a lap. Should be P1 by the end of this one then. End of the first lap. And the confidence is already much better. Jesus, not when I do that. Come on, pick a line, pick a line. Yep, send him flying, that's absolutely fine. Happens in real F1 all the time. You just stick the nose in there and then they just get yeeted. Open the DRS. DRS is available on the first lap now, that's a new regulation. Apparently, that guy that's retired was probably the one I yeeted. Nice and progressive on the power. I probably should have downshifted there for better torque from the engine. But, that's alright. Final corner. When can we open the DRS? As soon as we possibly can. When the green light illuminates, there it goes. Open. P8. Where are we going to finish in this race? I would love a podium. 
We're going to have to send multiple drivers on our quest to get there. Oh, using that extra road that was paid just specifically for us. Thank you to the Dutch government for doing that. Looking after the sim racing clubs out there. Alright. We've got a good pace. We don't have good consistency at all. That's one thing that seems to be our downfall. Ah, get out of the way! Yes, that was nice. Nice and authoritative. Just got to get more confidence. Use more road. Be willing to flail the car around with confidence that it won't spin out. We should be alright. But there are corners where the AI are just better than me. Uh, just having to wait so long to get on the power there. That's by far the trickiest corner on the track. Taking a bit of curb on entry there. We can really use the banking here to carry some good momentum. Onto the start finish straight. Open the DRS once again. AI are not strong at turn one. But our progression through the field, I still feel like we're lacking that little bit of pace. One thing I feel like, I don't know whether it's set up, I'd say this in just about every Assetto Corsa video, is like, I feel like I get a lot of understeer on this game or in this uh, these kind of cars. You get understeer, but then the car can just about, it can easily snap on you as well. High speed grip is absolutely fine, the downforce is coming in nicely. It's more the medium than especially low speed corners where I'm particularly struggling. I just need to get more used to this game. E5 at the moment. We're looking good for a podium here, lads. Halfway through this race, up the inside. We're going to go nice and late under brakes. We can really take it to the AI here. Again, this corner, absolutely treacherous. Woo, we survived. Another lap. We got this manner looking thing up next. Who we absolutely insulted last video. Check that out if you want to see it. Basically calls it a trash can. Turn one. Handling characteristics of a trash can. We made up so much ground there and I continue to exploit the track limits there. I mean if it's there you may as well use it. We pay for the whole track. Oh. On the verge of uh, spinning out there with the wheel spin. I'm having a lot of fun with this track. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Probably didn't need to downshift that many times. We are really having to work hard here. 2020 Mercedes with its DAS can't overtake a six year old manor. <laughs> Imagine. Slipstream. Neat. Alright, this is uh, a good position for us, P3. I honestly don't know if we can move any further forward in this race, to be honest. The leaders have absolutely checked out in this Grand Prix. But we'll do our best to chase them down regardless. Open the DRS again. This could be a PV for us. I have absolutely no idea what the times are. <laughs> so there's that. No! Gravel trap! Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Oh, okay. Really bottling it on this lap now that I've got the track position. Still good though. I can't wait to try this out on the new F1 game. Whenever that may be. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Then we can compare the two. I'm just, I'm just dying for new tracks, new content in the F1 games. I didn't say this yesterday, I think. But I would love to see classic tracks in the F1 games. Not only, like, classic tracks that used to be on the calendar, but even just, like, classic iterations of tracks. Like, uh, an old layout of Spa, an old layout of Monaco, like we did yesterday. Um, who knows, classic iterations of Silverstone. We could do like Grand Hatch, we could do Estoril, Imola, those are previously on the F1 games. Why not? Bring them back. I don't really care too much for classic cars. I feel like that phase for me is kind of... I mean, it's nice. Why don't we just keep the classic cars that we already have? But 
Bring us more tracks. We need more tracks. I feel like there's so much more content to be to be found in uh, racing at extra venues. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Like playing the F1 games year in year out all all the time. You do. I don't know, I feel like I'm starting to get to the point where I'm a little bit bored of uh, the current um, calendar of tracks. And uh, it could be part of the reason why I've ventured into other games like here, Assetto Corsa, uh, Gran Turismo, iRacing now. We just need a bit of variety. And here we go, this race is coming to an end now. We'll do well to hold on to P3. Considering we started last in this race, I will definitely take that. These two up front have been in a league of their own today. And actually, despite that, we're still kind of closing them in. So maybe if we had a longer race, this might have been viable. But um, there we go. We're going to come through the final corner and get a podium on debut here at Zandvoort. Hamilton couldn't get the W on enemy territory. But uh, the Gauntland is laid down for him to do it in real life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. Um, at some point, I'm going to try Assetto Corsa Competizione. And um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should do some online races, even on the original Assetto Corsa, which we're playing. Can we do that? Even with, like, modded tracks which aren't technically supported? Is that possible? If it is, feel free to let me know. And I would love to... Uh, delve deep into more content like this. We had a couple of no names winning this one. So there you go. Best rated driver apart from myself was Nicholas Latifi in terms of F1 drivers. That's uh, There you go. Lando top 10. GG's all around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check me out social media, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys for a brand new video very soon.